Multimode fiber and single-mode fiber are two types of optical fibers used in fiber-optic communication. When we say mode, we are referring to the optical path the light can follow in the fiber. We could almost call them multi-light path versus single-light path fibers. Here is a visual of the light paths of multimode and single-mode. As you can see, multimode uses several light paths whereas single-mode uses a single path. These multiple light paths are possible due to multimode fibers having a much larger core compared to the narrow channel in a single-mode fiber. The much larger core diameter, usually 50 or 62.5 microns, can carry multiple light rays or modes at the same time, whereas single-mode fibers carry only a single mode of light and has a much smaller core diameter, usually 9 microns. Multimode fiber is less expensive and easier to work with due to how easy it is to align the larger cores. They are ideal for shorter distances, up to a few kilometers, such as local area networks, data centers, and campuses as their pulse gets distorted quite fast. Pulses in this environment widen and eventually start to overlap. This is called modal dispersion. Single-mode fiber, with its much smaller core diameter and single mode of light, can transmit data over a much longer distance of tens or hundreds of kilometers, with minimal distortion. This makes it ideal for long-haul telecommunications, such as ISP networks, DWDM networks, and CATV networks. The main reason why multimode and single-mode fibers cannot work together is due to the difference in the core diameter. If you were to connect a single-mode fiber to a multimode fiber, the mismatch in core diameters would cause significant signal loss and distortion, which would make the transmission of data unreliable. Additionally, the connectors used for single-mode and multimode fibers are not compatible with each other due to the difference in core diameter and the way light is transmitted through the fibers. To ensure reliable data transmission, it's important to carefully select the correct fiber type for your desired application and be certain you are using the appropriate connectors for each type.